hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to track time here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is the first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Although Microsoft Planner does not have a built-in feature for tracking time directly, there are several ways to track time in Microsoft Planner using workarounds and integrations with other Microsoft tools or third-party apps. Now, once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard and click on My Plans. And from here, just choose the plan that you wanted to work with so you can easily track time. For example, in one of the easiest way is by assigning due date, for example, this task right here, I want you to click on the three dots. You can put in the open details and you can have a due date. For example, this will remind you and track you on November 23rd, right? You see, you can put in a note right here, manually typing in, say, for example, um, started working at right so a.m. or p.m. it depends all right so it's up to you what do you want to put it here and of course you can also add a checklist here for example um tracking time or track time whatever right make sure that it's not going to repeat obviously does not repeat and you can set the priority to urgent or maybe important or low since it's just a reminder all right after that I want you to switch to the board view because from here, I'm sorry, again on the grid, since you are tracking time right here, all right, you want to make sure that the label corresponds with the uh, track time. So I'm going to use the uh, deep right here. I'm going to rename this as time track. So everybody knows that you have completed this task or work on this task for how many hours, right? It's in progress. And of course, you can also make sure if you want to complete that, it will be, um, it, it'll have like a strike through if you have already um, tracked the time or um, use this, all right? And again, you can always do use the due dates and the status. For example, the status is in progress, completed, not started, and, and a lot more. And obviously, you can also go to the board we're in. You can rename this one as track tracking time. All right. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.